Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I think uh, I'm going to give this game a try. I like this game, I haven't played it in a while. Now as you can see on here, it's called Quix. I've seen people call it Quantum. I've seen it called something else. I don't remember. I'd have to go look. But I've heard it called Quix and Quantum. Something else. I do like this game, so I'm going to give it a play. I recommend that if, if you, you can play this game or you got it, give it a try. It's an old game. Now you got two, two lines. Now the red one there is slower, but you get more points. You can't let that you can't let that thing touch your line or it kills you. You can't let those little things get you either. Tell you what, once you play once you get into a like a little rhythm of this game, it gets actually easier. You can see one of these is faster. Ah. The other one is slower. Now the one that's slower, you get more. I couldn't see where I was at there for a minute. You get more points for the for the red one, I think. There. The object of this game is to section off more and more of the. Um, the board there so that thing can't move. And the more you play it, the easier it actually gets. Now I've done this where you make like little to try to trap that thing. that thing trapped up there and then you can section off a big big chunk of the screen pretty easy. Definitely tell it's been a long time since I played this game. You can only move along the lines that you've made, so you can definitely make it harder on yourself trying to move around this by having all those small small little patterns. That thing is kind of stuck over there. Ah. I saw that coming. Why didn't you? Anyway, I do like this game. Give it a try if you can. Like I said, I've seen this called several different things, so I'll let you decide for yourself what it's called. And, uh, 
Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you again next week. Thank you.